You've learned more about the motive and it may have to do with money. That's right. That's what we're hearing from this innocent family that got caught in a crossfire here at this motel. They say a shooting was the last thing they thought would happen right before they were getting to bed. John Killigorg shows us where a bullet went through his first floor motel room window, hitting him as he was getting out of the shower. Earlier this morning, he showed us his injuries on his back and described the moment he realized he had been shot. When I fell, I told my mom, get down on the ground, get down on the ground, and then called 911. When I saw the bleeding, uh, my whole body just got like, gosh, this can't, no, don't let this happen. Margaret Killigog was with her son in the room when the shooting happened. Deputies who arrived on scene shortly after 10 p.m. Wednesday night said the suspect got into a fight with three other men staying at the hotel. They say the suspect opened fire in the parking lot, killing one man before getting away. Do we have surveillance video of what happened out here? I'm not sure. We're definitely looking into it. King uh, County Sheriff Sergeant Cindy West tells suspects. us that SeaTac has not seen a recent spike in crime, and this motel is not a normal trouble spot for police. Crime happens anywhere, but this is not an indication of any increase in crime in SeaTac. Deputies are still working on a motive, but so Kilgore's mom heard fighting minutes before the shooting. I heard a couple of guys arguing, uh, like money. The guy gave him money, but the guy was saying that's not enough. He wanted his money now. For this 26-year-old who just moved to Washington from Alaska, he says he's just happy to be alive. I guess my grandparents are watching over me, telling me I'm pretty lucky right now. And you are looking at one of the many cameras located around this property here at Motel 6. And the manager told me that she had given the surveillance video to police as this investigation continues. Again, the suspect is still at large today. He's only described as an African-American man who got away in a dark vehicle. For now, reporting live in SeaTac, Petrania Poonswan, Cairo 7 News.